what's up? How is everyone? <clears throat> I hope good. I am here with messages from the divine. So let's get to them, I believe. I'm in a weird mood today. I feel great. I feel just amazing. So loving life, loving the aspect of the beautiful day that I have outside. Um, I'm actually going to go to the beach today, the doggy beach with Puddle Wars. So I'm excited. Anyways, let's get started. I um, am ready. The first message I pulled is when I lean on faith of the universe, peace becomes real. So the universe is asking us all to always lean on our faith, to have faith in each and everything that we do, and of course have tons of faith in the universe. And when we do, the universe has tons and tons of faith in us. So and that's what it project. We're projecting out into the world and the universe is projecting that back into us. So that's awesome. Convince yourself, not others. The need to clarify, explain, or justify oneself in personal relationships is always self-serving. What's important is knowing the truth about why you felt the need, because it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with the more effect, be dealt with in more effective ways. Hi ho, the universe! If I could get it out, um, don't don't waste your energy trying to convince others of the beliefs that you have, the um, of why you made a decision to walk away, or why you make any type of decision, or um, of anything when it comes to you. The only person that we really have to convince is ourselves, period. And if you have to spend a lot of time convincing yourself about something, maybe that isn't the right way to go or that's not the right answer or something. But just know that we we weren't put here on this planet to have to convince people to believe what we believe or to understand why we make the choices we make and so on. So I know that card is directed straight at me and I definitely... Thank you, thank you, thank you, the universe, um, because it really, last night it came to me that um, yesterday I spent a lot of time trying to um, convince somebody about something in my life, and I don't have to do that, and it made me really make a, a really good judgment call for today, and I feel, I feel great. I didn't feel great yesterday, um, I didn't feel great last night, but obviously the universe reached out to me, and I am going to let the universe guide me, and it's guiding me on the right path that I'm supposed to be on. And I do believe that. I have faith. Lots of faith. We have Page of Swords, Gossip. So if people are gossiping about you, good or bad, let them gossip. It doesn't matter. What other people want to say about you comes out of jealousy. It comes out of not understanding who you are. And you know what? We're not like the last card. We're not here to convince people of who we are. Either they um, accept us for who we are, um, they try to understand that, you know, each and every one of us is different, we think differently, we act differently, and if people don't understand that, then that's their problem. Uh, don't waste your energy and time trying to convince them or trying to understand why they gossip about you. Um, truly, if somebody has time to gossip about somebody else, um, they're just trying to fulfill a void that they're filling in their own life. Um, typically, most people are too busy to worry about what somebody else is doing in their life. And if there are people that are, you know, judging you or gossiping about you, then they obviously need to come up with a hobby or something to fill that void. Um, but it's not your your responsibility to, to teach these people that gossip is not good um, and to try to help them see that they need to, to figure out their own lives before they're judging somebody else. So, but... Just let the gossip just kind of roll off your shoulders like nothing. Don't, don't worry. We have totally. And with this card, I know that it's not the meaning, but the meaning I get from it is that you're just totally awesome. That you're totally free to do what you want. You can go on any adventure. You can totally just maybe ignore your responsibilities for today and just, you know, go have a totally awesome day. Just be totally you. That's what's, that's what matters. We have striving. Eventually, the individual's ego drive to make things happen fall away, replaced with a relaxed, trusting openness to answers as they arise. Thank you, Divine, for letting me move with the flow. So, 
just strive to move with the flow. That's really the only thing that you need to be striving for each and every day of your life. Um, just allow things to happen. Um, you know, have faith in the divine that the divine is is uh, taking you down the correct path. And just know in, within yourself that by going with the flow, we're not trying to swim up the current and trying to swim up the current of life. And we're not allowing people's gossip and, and what they they say that is right or wrong or trying to convince other people of us wanting to to strive in life but strive in our own ways because everybody has their own way in, of striving failure i understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn so this card's been coming out a lot um if you feel like you have failed at something know that you know every mistake that we do make is an opportunity for each and every one of us to grow to learn and then to definitely take that failure and make it part of our, our, you know, each step that we're taking after that failure. And hopefully we don't make that same mistake again, but if we do, um, it will definitely remind us again that we need to, to take those opportunities to learn and grow from them. So, and I don't like the word, word failure. I think we make mistakes and I don't think anybody fails in life. Heavenly signs. So right now, the divine and all your angels and ancestors and guides are just definitely wanting you to be paying attention to everything that's going on around you. Look on the ground. If you see a penny, pick it up. If you see a feather, pick it up because those are all heavenly signs. Also, if you see beautiful butterflies, um, birds, squirrels, anything that you know that you know that you're that you connect with and that you know that your angels and uh, guides and ancestors um, would be sending you signs that they're there take those but just know that even if you're not seeing signs um, sometimes we don't know that they're always there for you all you have to do is reach out to them and you know uh, express your unconditional love and you know always thank them and show gratitude to each and every one of them we have self-worth never allow anyone to to gossip or to to try to convince you that you you're you know that you have no self worth. When you have self worth, you know what what you deserve. You know what's right for you. You know what's wrong for you. You know what you deserve. You know what you don't deserve. And by having self worth, you you are not trying to convince other people of who you are and what you do and the decisions you make. And I'm talking about good decisions. Not all people will consider your uh, decisions good. But you know what? As long as you know they are and they're coming from unconditional love, that's all that matters. Obstacles and detours in the right direction. So every obstacle and detour that you come into, you know, that you face head on, that hits you, just know that they're they're pointing you in the right direction. Even if they're hard obstacles, even if they're, you know, detours to, you know, to the left. So, you know, it, that keeps you stuck over here in the left, but you know you're supposed to be over here in the right but know that you're gradually working your way back to the right. We have, it's not only about being right. In all tests of character, when two viewpoints are pitted against each other, in the final analysis, the thing that will strike you the most is not who was right or wrong, strong or weak, wise or foolish, but who went to the greater length in considering the other's perspective. Don't you agree, the universe? And that's correct. Let's not make everything about being right and wrong. Let's not be so stuck in our own mindset that, you know, the way I think is right. Because you might not, um, the other person might not understand your viewpoint, might not ever understand your viewpoint. They might have a totally different perspective on things. They might think completely different, but it doesn't make you right and it doesn't make them wrong. Are you wrong and them right? People need to open their minds and step outside their comfort zones and allow people to be who they are and stop judging them, stop gossiping about them and just let people be who God has created them to be. We have four of cups, boredom. So you might be kind of bored. You might be feeling, you know, it's time to move on. Maybe you are, you know, you've been in one spot for a while and you just feel really bored. Maybe you're feeling a calling to go somewhere else. Um, if that's the case, let the universe guide you. Don't, you know, allow people's thoughts and gossip and standards stop you from 
from moving on, from being who you are, or for going down the path that you're meant to go down. And don't get stuck in boredom. If you're bored in life, then you need to create something that will take you out of that. There is so much to life each and every day. There's so much going on in the world. There's so much to do. There's so many hobbies. There's so many things that you can pick up to, you know, to um, allow yourself to grow and expand. And really, really what you need to do is allow yourself to, to grow and expand and to not be bored. If you're bored in a relationship, try to spice it up. In a friendship, try to spice it up. If in any part of your life, try to spice it up. And if it's not spicing up, if you th you've done everything that you think that you can do, then maybe it's time to step outside that relationship. Well, not step outside and go cheat, but maybe it's time to release that. Maybe it's time to take a break and, you know, go your separate ways until you figure things out or so on. Um, I'm going to put you on hold for just a minute or pause, not hold. So I can go let my dog out because she's whining. So just bear with me and I will be back as soon as possible. Okay, I'm back. So let me take a deep breath. Conditioning. So maybe you're in the process of conditioning yourself to a new life, to a new relationship, maybe to a new way of thinking, but you're in the process of conditioning. And if you're not, you need to start conditioning yourself to think differently to act differently, to not care what the whole world is thinking of you. Condition yourself to be this fierce lion, to stand up for yourself when you know you need to. We have love. It's not about finding love. You are love itself. Help me, Lord, to see so much compassion and caring to the inner child that I always remember. I myself am love. So if you're in the process of seeking love, wanting love, love yourself first and then the person that you are meant to be with and um, you are meant to share your love with will come in. But start by loving yourself, by loving the inner child. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. So allow your your intuition to guide you to make help make decisions in your life and stop being indecisive. We have, you are stronger than you know. So... Know that you're strong enough to face anything that comes your way. Face any criticism, gossip, um, you know, people throwing obstacles and detours in your way. You're strong enough to just plow right through those. So just keep going and have self-worth and self-love. Miracle. There's going to be a miracle that comes into your life. You are a miracle yourself. Remember that. But miracles will start coming in when you believe that there are miracles that happen to each and every one of us. Happiness is my bright, or is my bright? Happiness is my birthright. So for you, you need to remember that. You you need to remember that happiness is all of our birthrights. Um, the universe wants us to be happy. They don't want us to be miserable and, you know, down and in the dark and, you know, just not feeling good about ourselves. They want us to be happy and, excuse me, living in the light and being the best uh, version of ourselves that we create ourselves, not what society says, but what we create. We have, you'll find what you seek. If you've been, if you've ever suddenly found and been loved by someone amazing, awesome, fun, and fantastic, chances are you will again. If you haven't yet found such a person, chances are you will. It's up to you, the universe. So believe that that person's out there for you. And if um, you have already been loved by somebody like that before, know that in, it didn't work out. Um, know that there is another person that's going to come in and love every little thing about you, every little, you know, light on your face, every little, you know, mood you have, every little silliness that you portray. Um, they're going to love what you do for a living. They're going to love, you know, your inspiration, your, your indecisiveness. They're going to love every aspect of you. And if you haven't found that person yet, just know that you will. We have six of cups reflection. So definitely reflect on yourself, reflect on others that you are allowing in your life and how they're making you feel. Reflect on the outside world, but definitely maybe go inside and do some self-reflection. Find out what you want. Find out what you stand for. Find out what makes you happy and so on. And 
while doing that self-reflection, it will help, you know, you become this strong person. So we have experiencing. So if you're experiencing anything that you don't want to be experiencing at this time, try to look at it as, you know, it's an experience that the universe has wanted me to experience to help me grow, to help me learn, and to become a better person. If you're experiencing much joy, I mean, it just depends what you're going through, but every experience is to help us grow and become better people. So, calmness. The inner divine is the witness of all remaining still and quiet, even during intense turbulence. So take a deep breath and then say, quiet my mind, dear Lord. May your peaceful calm take me over. So if you can't seem to calm down, if you just feel like this big ball of, you know, nerves or, you know, however you're feeling, reach out to the universe and ask the universe, you know, please, please help, you know, help calm my mind, help, you know, clear it out. Meditation is a wonderful way to do this. So if you don't meditate, I suggest that you start. Even if you do it for five minutes, I mean, it helps clear your mind. It helps free space up in your mind. So then you're able to deal with what you need to deal with each and every day. We have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So just know that each person that you come into contact with, each person that, you know, you, you develop feelings for in a friendship way or even in a romance way, even with your family, that person is meant to be in your life at that time. Maybe you don't agree with everything they do. Maybe you don't agree with everything they say. Maybe you have a hard time, you feel like you're having a hard time relating to them or so on. Just know that that person needs you in their life and you need that person in your life. So appreciate it, you know, show much gratitude for that person being in your life and enjoy it. Enjoy every aspect of that person. Hobbies. So if you have hobbies, if you need to develop some hobbies, um, really find some hobbies that will help you kind of free, your, free yourself, free your mind of everyday life, of work, of stress, of bills, of, you know, relationships. Um, you know, really grasp each hobby that you, you have, that you, um, that you enjoy and um, allow that to kind of free you. Allow it to be, allow, allow it to help you transform and allow it to let you be this beautiful butterfly. Let it allow you to be free, free of all the, you know, pain and sorrow we feel. All the, you know, ways that we feel that our life is in such a rat race because we're always going and going and going and it's hard to kind of step back and kind of free ourselves from that. And then the last message I have is joy. Allow joy to, to come into your life. Allow things to make you feel this joy. Um, replace all the hurt and pain and all the disappointments and the gossip and everything that is negative in your life with pure joy. Allow yourself to dance. Allow yourself to be free. Allow yourself to, to be these beautiful flowers that we see on this card. To really, you know, at night you kind of go into your shell, but then allow yourself to, to bloom and open up and allow the world to see your beauty and your joy and allow yourself to bring that joy to your friendships, to other people and to yourself, of course, because that helps with our self-love and self-respect. So those are the messages that I have today from the divine. I hope that they will definitely, you know, give you some light on what, you know, you need to work on today, what to kind of you know, clear out of your mind and your heart and your soul that are not, that are not serving you. Don't let people's gossip and what they say and what they think of you stop you from being who you are. You know, um, always remember that we all have the right to happiness. It's our birthright and we all need to allow other people and ourselves to be happy. I am sending you all so much unconditional love, so much healing, so many positive vibes and just peace each and every day. Um, let your light shine. Let the world see who you are and be totally awesome each and every day. Much love. Take care.